Today we are going to do a halibut that will be uh, sauté on a plancha and then I will make an orange and yuzu emulsion. So we are going to start with the orange juice that is going to reduce by half in a pan, like that. And while the orange juice is reducing, I have a beautiful piece of halibut that I will sear on the flat top. Um, so of course, seasoning on both sides. Uh, a little bit of um, uh, oil in this pan as well, because I'm going to saute some bok choy. Here the idea is to have them saute with a bit of water very quickly to keep the consistency. So bok choy in a pan, like that, leaf by leaf. A bit again seasoning, salt, pepper. I'm gonna put it on high heat and a bit of water so it doesn't get too dry, not too much. I'm going to saute the halibut on the flat top, so some oil here, and the fish is going on top. I'm gonna lower the heat so I don't have too much caramelization. I don't want the halibut to be too dark. I'm keeping an eye on my bok choy. What I want is to have um, this piece tender and that piece crunchy and uh, that will be uh, giving us some contrast. The orange juice is almost ready. It's becoming uh, uh, thicker, as you can see. So the bok choy is ready. I'm gonna save it here in a plate. And I'm gonna put my orange juice here. I'm gonna keep an eye on the halibut and probably is ready to be flipped. And you see it has a nice crust. Now I'm going to test again my sauce. And the sauce needs a little bit of acidity. So what I brought today is some yuzu. Yuzu is a, a kind of a citrus coming from um, uh, Japan. And if you do not have yuzu, you can use uh, lime or lemon. But I like the flavor of the yuzu. It's a little bit different. You can find it in many Asian stores. A tiny, tiny bit like that. Not too much because it's um, very powerful and acidic. Last taste. It's very nice. I'm gonna stop the heat, let it for 30 seconds, and start to bring my ingredients um, where I'm going to plate. So I have the halibut, the bok choy. I have some uh, shaved fennel, and uh, some cherry tomatoes, and of course the sauce. I'm going to plate now, so we are going to start to plate with the bok choy and we are, we are going to put it in the center of the plate. And bok choy again brings uh, some uh, texture and, and, and a nice flavor to the, to the dish. The fish is going on top, like this. Um, the cherry tomatoes, I'm going to use a few of them. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit. They're pretty sour themselves, so they don't need um, any vinegar or, or lemon juice or anything like that. We are going to put them uh, around the plate for decoration and also because they taste good. The shaved fennel, same thing, a bit of olive oil and salt pepper and I will put that on top of the fish. It's not only presentation, it's flavor, texture, but you see it's already looking good and I just have to Whisk my sauce one more last one more time. As you can see, it has a nice uh, thickness and consistency. And I'm going to sprinkle the sauce around like that. And we're going to have a very nice dish, nice in presentation, but also in flavors and in uh, um, complexity. And now it's time to eat. So. Let's go. I like this dish because it's very harmonious in terms of um, flavors and textures. You have the halibut that is very uh, silky and juicy, and then you have the bok choy that brings some uh, texture as well. Um, the sauce brings all the elements together, and um, the fennel on top has this kind of like very a strong burst of uh, freshness and anise flavor coming um, as well. And that is the dish that we have made today. 
So I'm very happy to eat my halibut. Scientists. We've taken a ch uh, chicken stock, some classic sherry, and we put it in a centrifuge. Artists. I knew how to roast a chicken, but I didn't know why. I didn't know what was going on. I was looking for more answers. Craftsmen. People say, oh, you have this immersion circulator. Equipment technology has always been a part of the kitchen. Award-winning wizard of the modernist cuisine, Wiley Dufresne puts it all on the table.